Good morning. Good morning. It's Monday. It is the, let's see, 28 de diciembre, the 28th of December. And we're continuing. How was your Christmas and the weekend? Was it good? Great. I hope you enjoyed that Christmas show. Was that beautiful? What a blessing. <clears throat> I'll give a report at the proper time of all the the results of those who called in that they received Christ and want to get those downloads of first steps of faith. Oh, um, what a joy to share the gospel. We are now reading in still in chapter 8 of 2 Corinthians, and Paul is now talking to the church about that he's going to send Titus, a younger minister who was kind of a disciple of Paul's. He's sending him to collect the mula, the money, the dinero, so that it can be joined together with other money from other churches, especially northern Greece. Corinth was in southern, northern Greece, which was called Macedonia. And those churches, all the churches, get it all, the money together, and then very carefully, we're going to find out, carefully bring it. Risky business, bring it to Jerusalem. No transfers of money electronically, you had to bring it. So he's talking about sending Titus to do that. Thanks be to God who put into the heart of Titus the same concern I have for you. For Titus not only welcomed our appeal, to would you go and, and work with them and get the money, but he is coming to you with much enthusiasm and on his own initiative. He volunteered. He volunteered. No, Paul. Please let me do this. Let me go. Let me be part of this. And we are sending along with him the brother, unnamed, the brother, who is praised by all the churches for his service to the gospel, unknown person. What is more, he was chosen by the churches to accompany us as we carry the offering which we administer in order to honor the Lord himself and to show our eagerness to help. So before I go further and read verse 20 and 21, let's go back and just think about that. He was so thankful that God put into the heart of Titus the same concern I have for you. If there are pastors, and there are, who love their congregations, what a joy, what a blessing. What an assistance it is to not just have clever people, smart people, talented people. You can get that on Broadway. But people who love the congregation members as much as the leader does. Paul was saying, oh, do I thank God. Timothy was like this too, another younger minister. Paul is now highlighting Titus. God put into Titus. Notice, it's not, Titus, I'm going to work with you. I'm going to disciple you. I'm going to give you four ways to love the people. Doesn't work that way. God put it in Titus's heart. I'm sure he was inspired by looking at Paul, but that does not give you compassion and love for people. God put it in his heart to love and be concerned about the people. And that's what people need the most. Did you know what people, what most people need is to feel appreciated and, con and that someone is concerned about them? Did, I just saw a recent study. That's the number one thing that this um, guru said. Most people, they just want to feel who cares about me and is concerned about me? And who appreciates me? Because the world we live in, it's especially on social media. Most people going on social media say, listen, Harriet, I just want you to know you're in my heart today. No. What? You have a different opinion than me, you demon? So it's a very cold, callous world we live in. 
Unfortunately, that's invaded the church. Church members are fussing and fighting over things that will disappear in a millisecond when Jesus comes. So sad. Que triste. How sad. What people need is to feel appreciated. And Titus had that in his heart from God. So that when he went to Corinth, the Corinthians would know, wow, he loves us. He wouldn't come with, okay, so where's the money? But he would love on them, encourage them, appreciate them. You know, I want to say something to you, just prompting in my heart. Uh, let's just close this out with we, verse, 20, verse 20. We want to avoid any criticism of the way we administer this liberal gift. For we are taking pains to do what is right, not only in the eyes of the Lord, but also in the eyes of man. So Paul is saying, we're taking a group of people. Paul was going to go to bring the liberal gift to the church in Jerusalem, Judea, spread the money out among people hurting. He said, we want to do it carefully. Because if just one minister carried it, someone could say, how do we know that's the full amount they gave? Checks, balances. That's why it's a good thing to belong churches and ministries to an organization like ECFA, the Evangelical Committee for financial accountability. Coming in, making audits, checking on things so that everything is on the up and up. So Paul says, it just doesn't matter what God sees. It matters what people see too. We want to put their minds at ease. Uh, well, I know this looks bad, but God knows my heart. Well, we need a little wisdom in that situation there. Don't you think? But let's get back to this other point about appreciating someone. It's Monday. Why don't we think and be open to God? You might not preach a sermon, but can't we encourage someone today, listen, by text, by a letter, by praying for them, by calling, by sending an email, or if we run into people we know, but see, during the lockdown, it's hard. What, how much time will it take for us to make someone's day a little brighter and the load a little lighter? Not much. We get so consumed with ourselves, we forget anyone else is around us. So let's do that today. Come on. That's by grace of God. God, help us to be an encouragement to someone today. In Jesus' name. God bless you.